hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya same and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great so today we'll be talking something very important and it's about this woman who actually came out to talk about how rich the season in healthcare is real and this is something black women black people have been screaming all over this while and still nobody is listening and the fact that some people that call themselves ally we never stand up to speak against this. It's just something really very horrifying. And it's really very ridiculous how they feel like African American, African American, like you know, they feel like black people, let's say black people cannot do anything. Black people cannot are not good nurses or black people are not qualified. Because I hear a lot of them saying that uh, when I go to a black nurse, I definitely will be very scared of uh, myself because I am not sure if they are like you know, uh, if they are qualified to be a nurse. And I hear them say all these things, and these are the things that you hear them say that even like you know, make you really feel very bad about like you know the nurses working there because if someone outside could see something like this, the war we can imagine what the nurse is going through in there because like you know you can imagine wanting to attend to a patient and they are saying sorry i do not want to be attended by an, a, a black person and all that just because you are black you don't know him they don't know you and all that and then also shows how horrible some people could be they would rather be on like die instead of being attended by someone that look let's get into this Racism in healthcare definitely exists. And if anyone tells you it does not, they are a liar. And my daughter just experienced it for the first time today. I cannot tell you how many times I have been called to a patient room because one, either the patient feels like the nurse that is African-American is incompetent and does not know what they are doing, or two, they just do not want an African-American nurse for no reason at all. I also cannot tell you the amount of times I have had to chastise or reprimand a white nurse because they are not giving an African-American patient the exact same treatment or care that they would give a white patient. So my daughter is doing clinicals and she went in today to do an echo scan on a patient. This patient, she said, was in her early 90s white patient. The patient had her daughter in the room with her. My daughter is biracial. So to the world, of course, she is perceived as African American. They went in to do the scan. The daughter and the mother immediately looked at my daughter and told the preceptor, my daughter's preceptor, who is white, that they did not want my daughter to do the scan. They did not want my daughter to touch their mother, you know, her mother. The preceptor said, you know, I'm not sure what is the problem. She's very competent. I am right here. If anything, you know, is done wrong, I can correct her. The daughter proceeded to say she did not care. She did not want my daughter to do the scan. She did not trust it. She did not want my daughter to touch her. The preceptor pushed her for what was the problem. The daughter finally admitted it's because she's African-American. She does not want her touching her mother. She does not feel like she is competent enough to do the job. My daughter looked at the preceptor. The preceptor again advocated that she's very competent, that she's right here overseeing. The daughter insisted she didn't want her to touch her. The preceptor said, it's fine, I'll do it. My daughter stepped out of the room. She did not get disrespectful. She actually went to the car and called me. She was in tears. She was so upset. Now, my daughter is a lot like me. My daughter actually wanted to go the fuck off. But because she knows she is a professional in a professional setting, she walked out and she came to call me. As a mother, I am pissed. I am just totally pissed off that my daughter was treated like that. But as a person who has worked in healthcare for many years, I'm disgusted. I am disgusted that people are this fucking ignorant in 2024. My daughter is very competent. And there are thousands and hundreds and millions of African-American healthcare givers that are extremely competent. Some that are far more competent than their white counterparts. But ignorant ass patients like this and their families will never get to experience these wonderful healthcare workers because their fucking mindset is so stupid. And I hate that my daughter had to go through this. I am truly disturbed. But it's the reality of the world we live in. That people are just this fucking stupid. 
racism in healthcare definitely exists. And if anyone tells you, hey y'all, how y'all doing today? So I was almost in tears watching it because I just had a baby last year in July at uh, Baptist East in Memphis, Tennessee, and I experienced it. The white nurses, they was racist as hell. I promise to you. They was racist. They was rude. It was the worst. I just had a bad experience at Baptist East altogether. This is my first child. And it's an experience that I never want to experience again. And I didn't realize that it was really like that. I done heard people talk about, you know, how white nurses are out there and stuff like that but i was just like i want to have my baby at baptist east it's a clean hospital you know it's nice i want to have my baby there baby the worst experience ever the worst experience ever i'm talking about the worst the nurses they was just they was just so rude they was rude they was mean they was nasty like they never treated me with respect like it was just horrible so like i totally i totally feel it i totally feel her pain i really do and i know if i was a white lady in there having my baby i would have been treated way more better than than i was treated like the lady didn't even <laughs> it was so funny because i really did i wanted to breastfeed really bad i didn't um i wasn't producing any milk or whatever and um i had a c-section and they was telling me that you know people with c-sections um milk take a little longer to produce but i i, I never produced um milk at all but um my leg my <laughs> the lactation if i'm saying it right the lactation nurse anyway the nurse that come in there to uh you know assist you with you know trying to breastfeed your baby oh she was just so nasty she was just so nasty she didn't she really did not even want to touch me to even help me like hold a baby right to even try to get my baby to even latch on it was just so crazy it was like i totally totally feel her pain like it's just crazy and i, I don't understand i don't understand i just don't like I want to be so nasty back with them, but you know, God, God, God got them. He gonna handle them. I promise to you. I advise anybody if you a black African American, don't go to Baptist. Baptist East in Memphis, Tennessee. Don't go there to hell, no baby. The worst place ever. The worst place ever to have a baby. They so fucking racist out there. Racist as hell. Racism in healthcare definitely exists. And if anyone tells you... Hey, TikTok friends and family, you had to go back and watch this whole video. You have to watch the whole video because I experienced the same thing when I was an LPN. But in the North, North Rock different. And I can tell she's from the South. The South is ignorant. It's very, they very stupid when in the medical field. But when I went in there... I passed out my meds, and I have to do wound care. Like, if, if y'all know what I'm talking about, you had to clean the wound, patch it, whatever. The, um, the son looked at me, no offense, it's nothing about you, but I want you touching my father. I said, what? I don't want you touching my father. It's nothing against you. I said, it must be against me, bro, if you want me to do my job, bro. He said, no, did he? He was from the South, but he was in the North. You dealing, everybody know in the North, we don't play that shit. Not in the medical field, we don't. So, um, I go, go get your supervisor. So he put my supervisor in there. It said the same thing. I feel uncomfortable for a black man to touch my dad. I'd rather have someone who looked like me touch my father. My supervisor said, he was white. He said, let me tell you something. He said exactly the same way I overheard him. Let me tell you something. It'd be a cold day in hell if I go to another floor just to pull another nurse or LPN off that floor to come all the way off day 
they station to take care of your dad. Now, if you don't want this young man to take care of your father, I will call the ambulance and we will place your father somewhere else. Sir, we already short-handed. My, my, that white supervisor was pissed. We already short-handed, because we always short them nurses. We always short. We all we, we, we short-handed. We short-handed. And I, if we was he said, if we wasn't short-handed, I still wouldn't pull another nurse off her station just to take care of your father. So what it gonna be, sir? You gonna let this young man come in there? Or we could call the ambulance and send them somewhere else. And when they call the ambulance and send you somewhere else, it's not a good nurse at home. I'm telling tell you. When you when we bring you somewhere, we're gonna make sure you get the shittiest nurse at home. So he said, well, you know, uh 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 well, okay, if he know what he's doing. I walked in the room. Um, I said, excuse me, sir, can you please leave the room? Oh, I wouldn't know. I have my rights. Can you please leave the room? I don't want you in this room when I'm taking care of your dad. So can you excuse yourself? And every nurse, every LPN, and a CNA have a right to tell the family to leave the room if they're going to stop you for doing your job correctly. He's going to say, well, I don't have to leave. My supervisor came back down. Sir, did he tell you to leave the room? I don't leave. Sir, did he tell you to leave the room? Do you need to be escorted out of here with you and your dad? I don't play that shit, bro. But I know she talking about the South. The, the South dog the shit out of their fucking patients, bro. The South do not treat your patient right. Especially, they don't speak to white people right either. I see them dog the shit out of white people. So I'm not going to say they only treating black people. Uh, people in the nursing home bad. They dog the shit out of white people too. Old ones. You just don't know it because you ain't in there participating seeing your mama every day. You facts. I'm going to tell you a joke. I had to end it off with a laugh. <laughs> I had to end this off with a laugh. It's a true, and all black CNAs and black nurses and white nurses know what I'm talking about. This white lady came in in a raggedy nursing home. And mother dropped her off, told her what she like and everything else. <laughs> Why'd she bring her to an all-black facility? <laughs> we didn't see the mom in about two weeks after she dropped her off. When her mother came back, when, when her son, her daughter came back, she didn't recognize her mother. Her mother had cornrows all in her hair, face was greased up. <laughs> Walk into the restaurant, walk into the dining hall. They play, you're a big fine woman, want your back, your ass. So her mama up there bagging it up. That shit was crazy. She didn't recognize her own mother. Shit. Your mother turned black in the black nurse home, boy. She be talking slang and everything. But what that little young lady talking about is, is a true story. It only happened in the South. In the North, we don't play that shit. In the North, we don't play that racist shit. We racist, but we don't play when it comes down to medical because we already short staff and you coming with your bullshit, you, we'll kick you and your uh, elderly out of that motherfucker. May you have a blessed day. Same part about black women sharing their stories on how the healthcare system has failed them. It's how not only will the healthcare system fail us, not only will hundreds and thousands and millions of us scream at the top of our lungs how we are not being heard, how we are dying at a higher rate than every other race. There will always be people telling us, but it's, it's not because you're black. It's not racism. This could happen to anyone. Under my story alone, there are hundreds of women saying similar things happen to them. And if you're wondering what all these women have in common, it's the color of their skin. The way we are continuously gaslit and told it's just not us. This is common. There are doctors out there who still believe we can handle more pain than people who are lighter skinned. Maybe some of you want to choose to believe the world is a better place than what it is, but the reality of it is black women are constantly fighting to simply stay alive because of the healthcare system that is in the United States. 
Racism in healthcare definitely exists. And if anyone tells you... I got one better for you. I got one better for you, okay? Now, anybody who lives in Indiana that is of this complexion, you know of a place called Kendallville, okay? I ain't even gonna say the rest, but you know, follow what I'm saying. I was working at a facility out there. It's working out there, okay? Every time I would drive by, I would feel the spirit of my ancestors rising through the water, okay? It's like the water, but I will never forget this. The body of water will be on my left side when I would be going and on my right side when I would be coming back. And it's like the, sp the ancestors would tell me, all right, now, little girl, you ain't got no business out here. But I know you out here to make your couple dividends. We gonna watch over you, but don't stay too long. Stay enough to get your experience, but don't stay too long because you ain't got no business out here. All right, whatever. Then at said facility when I was that I was working at, they had this special tree that had a certain kind of sway to it. You know them trees that sway, that look like back in the day, they just hung <clears throat> people from them. Yeah, that was one of them ones. And not to mention, with my first day at the facility, they wouldn't give me report. They wouldn't talk to me. They made me eat by myself. I remember I used to call my mama in tears because I'm like, mommy, they are just so awful to me here. I don't like it. I didn't even go outside at night working at that facility because I was afraid. Because I knew had I went outside, I wouldn't have made it home and my mama was getting a call back from the morgue. Okay? And then the D.O.N. never defended me because she looked like she was built like a sack of rotten potatoes. Yes, I don't like her. I'm not never going to like her. Okay, and I don't, never, I don't even get on this here app and talk about folks like this. But she was built just like her attitude in that picnic table she used to sit at. Okay? And them ugly bangs. And that funky pangin' walk. Now, anyway, like I said. It came to a point where I just had to, you know, I almost came to, <clears throat> we about to throw them balls. And if anybody that knows me knows me in real life, that's not even in my character. So when it comes time to that, it's time to go, okay? It's time to go. So with that being said, I ended up quitting. And yeah. Racism is real in healthcare, especially for CNAs and nurses of African American descent, or that's a little darker in hue. Love y'all. Bye. To our white allies that work with us, we thank you. Racism in healthcare definitely exists. And if anyone tells you. I mean, and I had a little more to say. We talk about um, racism in healthcare as patients because we know that's prevalent. But can we please discuss racism in healthcare amongst our coworkers, amongst management, amongst like you know, like let's talk about that too, because we definitely got to clock that T. Because the discipline that African American nurses receive versus their white counterparts is very astronomical and I think that's something that, that light needs to be shed on okay now with that being said I need to preface this by saying because I know it's somebody who, who doesn't understand reading comprehension or doesn't understand context clues I am in by no means a person that celebrates you doing wrong due to the fact that you are the same skin complexion as me wrong is wrong whether you black green purple a goat covered in spots speckles or holy water I don't care now back to the regular scheduled program we need that needs to be studied I've seen so many good nurses lose their job. I've seen so many good nurses have things happen to them because they don't take no mess. Okay? Self included. I'm not no nurse. I would never be a nurse because of the way that I was treated in these nursing homes. Made me never want to be a nurse as a CNA. And I've said that and I stand on that hill. Because a lot of these nurses was awful to me. 
Have I worked with some phenomenal nurses? Of course. But in like in any other group, the bad always outshadow the good. That's why it really needs to be a requirement for you to be an aide, be a nurse. But that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the racism amongst coworkers. I've seen good nurses, good black nurses, get their butts handed to them over something they didn't even do. Y'all ever, y'all ever been working in a facility like when it's time to drop? The first thing they do is call the black folks in there. Ain't that crazy? But I digress. Or like if you get into it uh with a uh with a nurse and she's of this complexion and since I'm that complexion who you think they whose side do you think they took oh okay or if you know you see a situation happen be like well let that have been one of us we would have been under the jail sure would have it's not fair we but also as as african american workers in healthcare we need to stick up for each other we can't be one to stick it to each other. We got to stick up for each other. You know? But hey, who am I? So this is all I got from this. Teachers and that. It's really sad how so many people are going through the same thing. Like, you know, I see the comment section. I see a lot of black people, not even a lot, the majority of black nurses saying that uh, this has been their experiences so far. And for, let's say, more than how many persons saying that this has been their experience as probably a black nurse, it's just really sad. And I really don't know how they feel like doing that job or being in a space where you know that you are not wanted or you are not even trusted or people do not even want to do anything with you or I don't know, but it really sucks, you know. And the truth is that I have already seen pump colored people saying that uh, if I see a black nurse or a black doctor, that I am not going to trust them. Why? Because he does not trust black people or black uh, excellence or their educational or a background and all that. And they always feel like we probably like manipulated or like, you know, probably go our way through that place through one thing or the other, right? So I've heard, it, heard them, so many of them said the seven. And the last one I heard was like a pop column my own saying that I, he has never been to a black doctor and he was like, what will I even, like how will I even start when I see a black doctor? Where am I, what am I even supposed to do with the person and all that? That really shows how deep racism has really eaten into so many people's blood. And the fact that people really go through this, like, you know, and it's really high time their supervisors stand up for them because you cannot treat people this way. And I am going to say this, if you go to a hospital, probably you are supposed to be attended by a black nurse or something, Annie, and you do not want them to attend. Okay, it's either you go somewhere else where they do not have black uh, nurses and all that because you cannot stop somebody from, especially when the person is the only person, like, you know, at that particular point in time. I mean, it's really crazy how people are going to risk their life over racism. Like, you know, see, I, I want us to understand something. I do not have problem of probably wanting to see a doctor and the doctor is telling you that, um, and you are requesting that you probably want to see a black doctor or a white nurse. But this time around, I think they are not the same thing, you know? Most times nurses are the ones that help you do some certain things or in the absence of doctor, or probably uh, going through your file to see what you are, they are supposed to do to you or what they are supposed to administer to you and all that. And you are dead to see, just this is to tell you, see, like, just look at their lives. Someone is dying. Instead of them to like, you know, focus on how they will get better. There are so much focus on how not to, how they do not want a black person to probably attend to them just because of what, like, you know, it's really crazy and it's crazy and sad. And seeing people share their experiences, how they probably like, you know, why they were working because probably uh, other people did not like, you know, you know, sometimes they are not welcoming, especially when it's like, you know, you are in the midst of all colored people and some of them like, you know, keep straight faces and all that. And you see a black person like always being by herself, doing the job by herself. Sometimes they feel left out alone and the rest of it. But then, man, it's really time. I don't know but. I see a lot of people go through this, like, you know, 
a lot of people i see them saying that this is like their daily activities or something in the hospital and uh, this is america as you all know and uh, it happens more often than we think and the rest of it and i am sure that uh, a lot of people have gone through it and i am happy that someone is speaking about it because the truth is that palm color people are not ready to talk about this most of them are not ready to talk about it and if there is anyone that can bring all this to an end still them right but they would rather look for a way to antagonize or do some certain things to black people instead of waking up to do the right thing or being great activists or being great like you know i don't know ally to black people and the rest of it but racism in healthcare is really it's super real and that uh, and that uh, it really should not be happening because healthcare is a very huge institution where a lot of people get healing i don't know how to say it but it's an institution where we should not be seen right to the season there because it got to do with life and death people are dying someone is sick and all you are interested in is no one in a black nurse or no one in a black doctor or no one in, you know it's just ridiculous see you all in my next video bye for now